Welcome back everybody, Rudy with Alpha Investments and today, you know we've been trying to try some different card games, we're trying to blend them into the channel, so we're, today we're going back to a new set called Driven to Disorder. Now on the future card booster box series on this set has not sold as well as the previous one, which was that striker set. Um, the other one had a lot of support for the crystal type of cards. Most of you are magic people, don't have a clue what I'm talking about. But, I want to share with you, again, it's all about diversification in life, exploring different things, and kind of seeing what some people are doing right, some people are doing different. So, uh, I don't know, that's all I got, let's just check it out, who cares? Okay. You know, every time I open the Weiss Schwartz, Weiss Schwartz, for those of you who are picky, um, even the Buddy Fight, I've never gotten received i've never received any of the super amazing cards i've never gotten anything above the triple rare i've never gotten these i want a climax card is it too much to ask for rudy to get a climax rare i don't think it is i've never gotten a climax rare never gotten a buddy i never gotten the sp on a box opening i'm hoping finally i can get like one flipping sp or something i just want to get one super rare cool like fifty hundred dollar pool type Thing and I, I got I can't seem to find them. Even when I I don't open these often. I think I only open it what like once or twice in the whole channel. But still, I'm just like one time. Let me at least get lucky. Is that too much to ask for somebody to get lucky? I don't think it is. And again, like I always tell everybody, you know, why can't we have the promo card in the booster box for magic boxes? Why doesn't Wizards do something like that? So just saying. Anyway, so you get what they call the box topper promo card. It's a little bit different in each one. And, um, we're going to jump into it. I want to get lucky. I was up all night trying to get lucky. I want to get lucky. I've been waiting for so long to try to get, and remember, these are five card booster packs. And, of course, uh, I guess I should do a quick recap, because I don't think a lot of people are even going to remember. Um, I think we'll do a quick one. Uh, just so everybody knows, monster, size, attack, first number, crit, uh, one, two, or three, usually, pretty much the damage deals with the player. Defense, or how much it can take till the card dies. Um, card type. Put it close. Card name. Mini Gear God Gorge. <laughs> um, artist. Um, abilities, attributes. Call cost. Cost you one gauge. It's got double attack. Flavor text in the middle. And of course, the bottom corner, you have the C for common. You have the XCT, XCBT, which is the set code, kind of like Force of Will. Card number, Ian for English, and C for common. And of course, to remind everybody, usually you have the typical common, you have the typical common, you have the common, so the first three cards are commons, and, or I'm sorry, fourth card, wow, four commons? And a standard rare. Remember, standard rares have that mosaic type of, I don't know, how do I call it? Like mosaic, almost like a glass foiling? Like mosaic glass, I guess you could say? It's kind of a weird foiling. I don't, I've always kind of picked on that. And some people kind of tell me to lay off on picking on the type of foiling. But some of the artwork is really, I mean, to me, that is, look at that alchemy. Look at that artwork on that alchemy. And, of course, I am terrible pronunciation. A lot of two assault frame. Anyways, I don't really care about the commons. Three common. where are all the uncommons? They change it? Double rare. I always like the foiling on the double rare. Thunderstad Berkman. That is a cool foiling. I like that. It's almost like you can see the cross hatches of the foiling. I always thought that was pretty cool. And of course, I believe if I recall, and I love the items. They reminds me of the Force Will when they did Regattas, I think it was. They had item cards. I always thought that was really, really neat. Very anime. And of course, another, uh, are these all commons? Searchlight? These are spells. And I feel, why am I getting, I thought there was always an uncommon in the middle. And we have a triple rare right off the bat. Now the triple rare cards always look really neat. I mean, they are very neat looking cards. I mean, look at that. Replenish Mech, the Chaos Pent. Oh my god, triple rare. Good lord, that is really neat looking. So, of course, I think each box, if I recall, still has what they call a secret pack, where it's kind of like a god pack, or not really a god pack, if every box has it, am I right? And, you know, but... And back to the single rare. Again, my least favorite type of foiling, the mosaic. A lot of people like it, but to me, it almost looks like the like a stained glass, like a little glass look, but it takes away from the art. I feel like I have to look through the artwork to actually see the card. Do you guys know what I'm saying on that? It's just me. I feel like art should, the foiling should accentuate and make the artwork look better. 
Now again, they have this. This is a parallel version, by the way. So notice it was in the second card in the pack. So it's a regular rare, but notice the foiling looks different. What is this card anyway? Magnetic Ninja? There's a card called Magnetic Ninja. That's... Look at the back of the head. Giggity. North, South... Do you, do you see that? So I guess I'll put the parallel card aside. Anyways, common, common, and of course, single rare, Star Ocean Envoy. And... The art doesn't seem as extreme in this set as the previous few sets. Doesn't it seem as... Like, look at that. Like, look at the spells. For the chode. Look at that. Wow. Only cast this card if you have no monsters in your field. You equip up to two hero items from your hand without paying their equip cost. And remember, spells are no different. Use it and it's done. Wow, that is a really, really cool looking. The theme on these cards definitely seems a little bit different than the previous set. I can tell a pretty good difference. Oh, Asmodee is back. Single rare mosaic. I swear that's like... So if you can get, like, in some of the older sets, the Asmodee cards, if you can get them in the SP or super rare versions, they were quite pricey, everybody. Was that a foil? No. Sorry. Arc Crystal Dragon. And of course, whoop, sideways card. Whoop, untouched in all seat. And of course, another really cool. I like the double rare. God, that double rare is cool. Look at that weapon. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of like a sword from like Final Fantasy VII from Cloud. Anybody? Comment section if you know what the heck I'm talking about. Most of you probably don't even have a clue what I'm talking about. All right. Come on. Give me one time I finally get a box and I hit one of the major cards. I've never, I never get any of the good cards in these box openings. Oh my god. And we back to the double, wow, a lot of double rares. Steel Beak Vogel, wow. Okay. I am really hoping to actually pull something. I need to like contact them and be like, send me a special box with all the high-end cards. Because I am not getting lucky. Dude, look at that guy's hat. That is me in the middle of the night. It's like Creepy Hacker, Demon Lord's Deputy. And of course, whoop, another common. And Study Horned Beetle Golem, single rare. That is interesting looking. I'm not sure even what that dude is in the picture. God, I want a specialty hit so bad. Because I've never hit an alchemy. Love that artwork. Chaos Kamense, I think it's Kamense. And we do have a parallel rare here with a different foiling. That is very pretty. Great spell. Diag diagnosis. That is really cool looking. Wow. That is a really cool card. And last but not least, the underhanded means. Piercing pins. It's just a single rare. Oh, come on. We're going to do it. I'm telling you, this is going to be the one. We've tried the other sets and different card games. We're going to get, we're finally going to get a hit. I'm telling you guys. We're going to get a painful needle fish. Come on. We got the painful needle fish. We're going to get it. Here we go. Apprentice. You know, this almost reminds me of the, uh, more of the Vice Schwartz, I think. I don't know. Great spell. Godspeed learning, everybody. Godspeed. A lot of spells in this set. I feel like we need a lot more spells in the preview. Maybe unless it's just the pools or the luck I'm getting on here. Maybe it's just me. Chaos! Commence! Mithatui. Impartial Royal Justice Hoot. Dragon Air Wings. And come on, come on! Ah, Death Plague Pasture. Single rare. Well, man, we're halfway through the box. I gotta get a super hit, man. I've never gotten one. And a single rare taboo. The savage form. What is that weapon? Taboo. So what is this thing? Is it like a sword that eats you? That is the most bizarre sword I've ever seen in my life. Knight of Thunder Tail Nils. Prism Order. And double rare. I can't even read because of the foiling reflection. Uh, Ibuki's in force encouragement. Man, some of them. That's kind of hard to read. Wow. Okay, come on. Wow, the swords in this set. Look at these, like, ridiculous-looking swords we keep getting. A lot of... Look at the items and spells. A lot. Another... Sp I mean, there's... for a, Usually, it's all, like, a heavily-weighted monster set. Prepare for sword. Single rare. Again, spell. That whole pack was literally spells. Compared to the other one I opened, that is pretty interesting to shift. Another spell. Contagion gel. That is really neat looking. I bet in like a foil version of that would be really sweet. Chaos arms. Again, spells and items. Very interesting. We've got one little monster. Little tiny little knight of tender love. And another ridiculous. Wow, look at these swords. Sword of the King and Show. Wow. Single rare. Come on. Oh, uh, wait, what do we get? What do we get? 
Oh, it's a secret rare pack. Uh, well, I don't know which version this is. Because uh, this is the first one we've opened. It says A. Or wait, no. 067. So this is the secret rare pack where it's all five Hanchi Schmancy cards. And very difficult to read on camera. Sorry. Turbulent Warlord and Overturned Demon Lord Asthma. There he is again. Anybody remember the old Asthma Day SP? Anybody? No? Maybe just me. Wow. That, unless Is this a reprint of the old one? I wonder if it's exactly the same. I am not actually sure. And Hell Heaven Dragon. Seekers of Superior Strength. Whoa! And the box art. Look at that spirit. Bats. Wow. That is ridiculous. That is true full art, ladies and gents. That is really neat looking. I was like, I don't know what it is. I always feel like it's like a thing to get like the box art card. I don't know. Maybe I'm old school. Wow. That is a common alternate foil version. And that is super beautiful for a common. Look at that sword. Fabricated Sword of the King. The Harati Replica. I love how they have replicas. Wow, that is really cool. And Dragon Soul Infusion and Jupiter Barrier. Look at that crystal card. Wah, wah, wah. Star Dragon World. And Magnetic Ninja Dude again. Another Magnetic Ninja. Oh, are we not going to get a super cool SP card? We're going to get it. God, look at it. Fabricated Sword of the King. Wow. The swords and spells are just out of control in this one. Assault and a nut. Whoa! Look at that triple rare sword. That's gonna. I gotta make that the thumbnail probably this video. Look at that sword. That is the coolest looking sword, man. Wow. I can't. Uh, I guess it's tough to read that. Divine demonic sword of the king Excalibur replica. Holy smoke! Look at that ten thousand crit of two. Swing. You don't blow. You take two. Equip cost, discard a card with King, Sword of the King and its card name from your hand. If you have 10 or more heroes in your drop zone. During the battle, this card attacks alone. If you have 4 or more hero cards on your field, your opponent cannot counter. Also has penetrate and double attack. Holy smoke, that has got to be the coolest card in the set. Like, I don't know value-wise and strength-wise, because I've barely I played literally like 3 times in my life. But that has got to be the neatest looking card in this set. Chaos, oh, wow, that was... Parasite, I can't pronounce that. Yagrasil? Yagrasil? But, God, look at that spell. It's like a robotic tree he's looking up. Thunder Emperor's Fist. Quilling Lot Operated Fixed Artillery and Battlefield Blitz Single Rare. Ah. You know, it's kind of funny because I said at the beginning of this video, this set hasn't sold as good as the previous uh, Rainbow Striker set. And honestly, ooh, what do we got? Common foil alternate. I, I think the foiling on the alternate looks better than the rare, regular rare foiling. Because it looks like it accentuates the artwork. Maybe it's just me. See, there's the regular foiling, the mosaic, the chunks of glass look. Oh, maybe it's just me. Anyways, but I, I personally, you know, I know this set doesn't seem to be as strong as popular as the other one. But man, I think it's, I don't know, I just like the cards. I'm always big into the spell heavy anything though. Even with magic in full so will. Guru Boom Boom Boonky Serious Mode. This dude actually says serious mode. To let everybody know I'm flipping serious. <laughs> that's, that's cheesy. That's fun. It says serious mode. Come on, you guys. That's hilarious. Okay, moving on. Sorry. And on throne. I have not we have not gotten that one. Deploy impact canceller. And double rare divine sword dragon. Well, we are almost done. Oh, it looks like we are not going to get an SP card. I was really hoping for a cool SP card. Thunder Emperor's fan. Mini Gear God Gold. We are getting a ton of double rares in this box. I know it's supposed to be like a predetermined allocation of single rare, double rare, triple rare. And then I know all the things above that are super difficult to get. But it just feels different in this box. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Single rare, secret sword, waves, splitting, arc, fangs. It is an impact card. Oh, three packs left. We didn't get anything really crazy. I wanted a really exotic one. I never get it. The streak of, oop, oh, that is an alternate common foil. I almost missed it. The flame dragon march, chaos, linear. Very cool. Prism order. And black art. Ah, chaos, bloody king. Just a normal single rare. Come on. Like two packs left. We gotta get it. 
Nope, don't want the pile to fall. All right. Epidemic, painful, Jupiter barrier. And same thing. And great spell, diagnose, single rare. That was when we got the alternate on, too. Well, I think we're down to two packs. It's not looking like Rudy's going to hit the super card. Just saying. Super depressing, everybody. And... Oh my god, I thought we got an SP. Well, we got a triple rare. Death Plague Priest. Wow, that is super neat. God, the quality of the cards are so nice. The quality of these things are just amazing. Holy smokes. True full art, everybody. That is an awesome... So we got three triple rares in this box. I think in the previous one I did. Was it a month or two months ago? Or two months ago, I think. I think I only got two triple rares. I feel like I'm getting better pulls. And a ton of double rares. Black Arc Dragon. Double rare. Um, did we already get that one? I think we are Is that a duplicate? Oh, come on. Home stretch. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Knight of the Tender Love. Ah, oh, Dragon Knight. Nikola, t Nikola Tesla. Anybody? Come on. Last pack. Come on. This is it, everyone. Come on, come on, come on. Please give us a crazy hit. I can't, I keep getting, I miss all the good hit. Oh, we got a common foil alternate. And, oh, nothing. Single rare, broadsword fame, quailing lot of two. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You enjoyed a little bit of uh, something different to kind of take a look at. By far, I have to admit, the triple rare cards, specifically, um, I mean, the triple rare, I mean, that's these two by far. Oh my god! I thought they were both actually the same uh, magic world, but one's legend and Matt. That is, that's going to be the cover photo. It has to be. That is so beautiful. All right. Hope you guys had a good day. Hope you guys, uh, for those of you, who learned something, get to see something different, and uh, I appreciate it. And uh, always consider. Remember, diversification never hurts anyone, and it's good for the long haul. Reduces risk and opens your horizons.